Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another awesome Minecraft video for you guys today. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be doing another mob battle competition. This time it's going to be against Godzilla minus one versus Thermonuclear Godzilla. I'm pretty excited for this because I actually haven't done anything with Thermonuclear Godzilla in a while now. So right before we get started, if you guys could do me a favor and help me hit a like goal, that would be amazing. If we could hit maybe... Let's try to go for, let's go, let's go for four likes actually. That'd be awesome. Go down there and slap that like button down below and let's get started. So, okay, okay. I actually don't remember how powerful Thermonuclear Godzilla actually is. I just remember every time I use him, I kind of need blocks ready because it has this one attack where it just pushes me back so far when flying in the air. So I usually have to do something like this to prevent myself from moving. So... Pretty excited for that. Let's try to have them fight over here. I haven't really went over here yet, so yeah. For you new viewers, however, if you guys don't know how these mob battle competitions go, we do a best two out of three fight, which means that we do three fights maximum. Sometimes it just ends at two if the fight is too one-sided. And the winner is basically chosen when they win two out of three of those fights. So um, with the rules being stated, let's begin. Again. Okay, so I actually do want to spawn in Thermonuclear Godzilla first just because it's been so long since we've seen this guy. So, three, two, and one. Ooh, I forgot how cool Thermonuclear Godzilla looked. It's like if Godzilla was made out of magma blocks. And uh, the cool thing about Thermonuclear, uh, if you guys didn't notice, yeah, you literally, if I was in survival, I'd just be dying because I was burning in fire. So, um,. If you get too close, you basically burn in flames. And the same creator actually made this Godzilla minus one add-on. So I'll be excited to see how it goes. I think Thermonuclear has a huge advantage here, but we'll see. Spawning you right there. The size difference is pretty uncanny, I can't even lie. And okay. Alright. They are going near each other. It looks like Godzilla minus one did go for a hit. And whoa! Okay! Hold on. You see this move here? This was actually Thermonuclear Godzilla's moves right there, or not Thermonuclear, um, Godzilla Minus One's move with the tail. It just does this explosion, and as you guys can see, Thermonuclear Godzilla is basically untouched, but with one hit, it just kind of took care of Godzilla Minus One. That was actually pretty, pretty insane. So we're going to do another round, and there are things I want to test out. Just because I feel like we can make the fight just a bit more unfair. Just to see, you know, Godzilla minus one to move against Thermonuclear. So, we'll see, we'll see. Let's just get the second round done, and then we'll try to do something. So, it's Godzilla minus one. Welcome to the battlefield. And to the right over here, we're going to spawn in Thermonuclear Godzilla. I wonder if I gave them enough space. If, you know, maybe either of them will do their long range move. Alright, alright. It looks like they are, like, aware that they're both in the same area. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Godzilla minus one using its move. Ooh, ooh, this is actually pretty cool. Okay, okay. Ooh, and we get the mushroom cloud, and it looks like it is affecting Thermonuclear Godzilla, but as you guys, as you guys can tell with the health, like, yeah, almost nothing is going on. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh. I, this mushroom cloud is insane, by the way. So I wonder if it'll, like, make Thermonuclear Godzilla use its move soon. Just because I feel like if it's too far away, that's when Thermonuclear tries to do this one crazy move it has. You guys will see it in a bit, I hope. Um, I hope it just gets to the point where it actually goes for the attack instead of just melees. If not, we can kind of force it to happen. But it's still pretty intense. But okay, okay. I wonder, does anything happen if we go in here? Nothing? Okay, cool, cool. Anyways, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I mean, I just need them to face each other, and I think that's when they'll start, like, actually trying to melee each other. Oh, or, or, um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, uh, Thermonuclear Godzilla might be sleeping. Oh, yeah, um... Yeah, no, Thermonuclear Godzilla is literally poisoned right now, just like I am. And he's literally just sleeping. What type of disrespectful fight is this? It's just like, nah, I don't need to deal with this. Okay, okay, okay. So here's what I wanted to happen. So if you guys don't know, since this Thermonuclear Godzilla comes from the Monsterverse add-on, 
a lot of the mobs, if not all of them, actually get affected by this end crystal item. So you guys put down Thermonuclear Godzilla, right click with an end crystal, and they just stop moving because we can actually take control of them by right clicking. So check this out. Now we have control of Thermonuclear Godzilla. Pretty weird POV, I know. But we basically have full control of the body. We have some moves here. Uh, we have this Alpha Roar. We have a Stomp move. And I think all of these can basically one hit um, Godzilla minus one. But this is the move I was talking about, the Thermonuclear Pulse. So let me show you guys how powerful it is before we try it on Godzilla minus one, okay? So, um... Ooh, Wardens. Those are really powerful mobs in the game. Like, a lot of health does a ton of damage. We spotted, like, at least a million of them, alright? Literally surrounding us in, like, a circle. There we go. And just by being near Thermonuclear, they're just burning already, right? So already quite the intense, um... There we go, and we're pretty much good, I think. Now if we right-click and do this, and we use the Thermonuclear Pulse, we charge up this, like, power, and then we release it outwards. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw that, but, um, yep. I mean, these cows are only here because they spawn right after, but, yeah. As you can see, it just completely got rid of all those wardens, so now... Let's test it out on Godzilla minus one. We're gonna put you down here. You wait right here, buddy. Okay, okay. Now we control. Alright, alright. This is what I wanted to see, okay? So we're just gonna get close enough. And I wonder if you just burn on fire if I get close enough. I mean, you are losing health, but I don't know if it's because you're burning or anything. Alright, anyways, right next to me, right? Right? Right click the thermonuclear pulse. Charge up the energy. And then... Explode! Yep, yep. If, like, a normal hit can just basically take down Thermonuclear, or not Thermonuclear, but Godzilla minus one. Like, okay, we can literally have, like, an army of Godzilla minus ones. Like, a pretty good amount. Alright, alright, we're spawning in as many as possible. So we have a pretty good amount of Thermo, or of, uh, Godzilla minus ones, right? Okay. Now if we do the Pulse. Check this out. This is how just how much more powerful Thermonuclear Nuclear is with this move, especially too. Yep, yep. You can literally just clear the battlefield and yeah, no. Oh wait, wait, wait. Well, one survived. One survived. Let me just uh. Wait, which way are you? I think you're like this way. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me just give you a quick little high five. But yeah. As you can see, in most cases, if not all cases, yeah, Thermonuclear just kind of wins this one. And there are some over here, which I think they were just outside of my, uh, you know, render chunks, so whatever. But, yeah, I don't know. I guess Thermonuclear just easily wins this. So if you guys want to try this out yourself, all the add-ons I used will be linked underneath that like button in the description down below, so feel free to check it out. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Gather News. Thank you all so much for watching, and all the add-ons I used will be in the description as well. So thank you guys for watching, see you guys later, and peace. Bye guys!